It's Thursday, May the 4th, and of course, it's Star Wars Day. And believe it or not, the seminal film that has become much like a religion to millions turns 40 this year. 40. George Lucas's space opera about a bratty teenager with a secret past, a beautiful princess that could also kick ass, a kind, wise wizard, and a scruffy nerf herder who took on a galactic empire headed by a dark lord hit theaters on May 25th, 1977, and the world would never be the same. Made for what then was the massive sum of $11 million, Star Wars blew up in theaters to the tune of almost $800 million to become the original sci-fi summer blockbuster. And four decades later, generations of fans still love the original and most of the seven films that came after it. Now, Lucas has passed the torch to Disney, ensuring we'll continue to have new Star Wars movies, hopefully for at least four more decades to come. We've got a full slate of Star Wars related stories on DT today, and as Obi-Wan always said, may the force be with you, always. Despite some photos showing him looking a bit tense while sitting in with President Trump's tech advisory board, Apple CEO Tim Cook says the company is going to spend a billion dollars on a push to make more Apple products in the United States, something the president has pushed hard for. Cook sat down for a chat with CNBC's Jim Cramer of Mad Money fame and said that despite Apple having more in cash than the GDP of many small countries, pulling together a billion Somalians in the US is actually hard to do because of tax laws, an issue Trump says he'd like to change and something Cook agrees with. The Mad Money interview is pretty interesting and wide-ranging, so hit the link to watch the whole thing. We talked briefly about BlackBerry's new smartphone, the Key One, last week, and now that we've had some time to play around with it, we've got a better handle on what works and what doesn't. The phone has a lot of positives, great battery life, top-notch security, and a capable camera. And hey, if you dig that physical keyboard thing, that's a plus too. But it's not perfect, so check out the video and review by DT Mobile Tech Editor Julian Chokatu for a full rundown of the new Key One. And that's it for DT Daily Today. Get more tech and Star Wars news on our Facebook page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tech updates and podcasts like Trends with Benefits, our roundtable tech podcast airing live at 2 p.m. Pacific today. We'll be in the cantina until tomorrow.